I mean, you did want your hair purple for a while. You could really go like like what I actually want to really, do with really the purple. Debbie Ryan purple. You did want your hair purple for a while. What I actually want to do really with the purple. Debbie Ryan purple. Yeah, I think you could. Safe to say a lot's changed. If you're new here, I'm Lily. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Today, we're going to talk about the story of when I dyed my hair eight different colors in about a year. Still recovering. One might wonder how I go from like not caring about my hair at all, seemingly, to going and getting it dyed about once a month. It is worth noting, this wasn't my first adventurous hair decision. Flashback to seventh grade, there was this girl and she had the coolest hair and I was obsessed with it. It was like twisted in the front, it was all spiky in the back, and it took me like a year to work up the nerve to do it, but finally I did. Guess who won best hair in eighth grade? I do also remember someone saying that it looked like my hair got in a fight with a lawnmower, so you know, it wasn't always positive. Also should mention that today's episode is sponsored yet again by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit that gets delivered straight to your door each week, including low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes. So there's something for everyone. HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 with their quick recipe options. And my favorite, it means you don't have to go to the grocery store. They send you pre-proportioned ingredients, which means there's less prep for you and less food waste. And it's super flexible, so you can add extra meals or lunches to your weekly order or even throw in yummy sides or desserts like garlic bread and cookie dough. I'm personally a huge fan. You guys know I can't cook, so it's so nice to have it pre-proportioned out for you. If you want to give it a try, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code LilyMarston10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. As you can see here, I'm making the chicken sausage and spinach ricotta ravioli. It only takes 20 minutes and oh my god, you guys, it tastes so good. So remember, if you want to give it a try, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code LilyMarston10 because you'll get 10 free meals. So as many of you know, I used to host and produce a show on Clever called Beauty Break. Let's just say most of the time I was the guinea pig when it came to hair things. Don't okay. Go oh. We're gonna do two, because I mean, I really think oh. you deserve it. Oh my god, it's really hard! I know, but this is why it feels so good. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Do I you know? don't! How are you putting cool. it in? Oh my god, not like that! What? Your hair just got straight up eaten. Uh -huh. Uh -uh. I was never supposed to be a host, so like I never had anything to do afterwards. The other people on the show were like actual hosts. Oh, hello. Are you going to join? Are you gonna keep interrupting or are you gonna just sit? Good job. But usually I would like leave and I'd go home and edit. So if I had a pink streak in my hair or something, it didn't matter. Megan would like have to go film something for someone else or Jocelyn would have to go interview a celebrity. So they would usually stay away from like the less temporary things and we would just do it on mine. And then comes the Coachella episodes. We did Coachella hair accessories and naturally I was the one that was trying out all the color on my hair. Temporary pastel conditioner. I'm just gonna do it on the tips and then rinse it. Oh, you have to leave on for five to 30 minutes depending on how, how you want it to look. Um, I just wiped this off the table. Look. So I think it works, because the table's blue. Great. Oh, oh, oh. And it's conditioner, so that's cool. Uh -oh. Dry it off like this. Yep, like, like that. Wow, oh. this is really, that works. Guess I'm having blue hair for Coachella. I like it. So I used it at Coachella and then I was just obsessed with it from then on. Then I got home and I decided I wanted to do it for reals, not just like a little temporary color. So I went to my hairdresser and she put actual like bluish greenish tips in. But then it was gone in like two weeks and I was like, well, that was fun. Can we do more? So then we did purple tips and that was fun. And I kept that for a little while. And then it was time for a full color transformation. So the first color I fully did was silver. And up until this point, when I was in high school and stuff, I would do like bleaching highlights. I never really like dyed my hair. It was much more of a process than I had anticipated. I already have like, this is my natural color, so I already have like dirty blonde. It took eight hours for us to go from this to like a bleached like white blonde. Then we added the color and voila. Honestly, this was one of my all time favorites and I kept it for a while. I don't even remember if I really told my mom I was doing it. She wasn't the biggest fan, but she always used to joke that she spends so much money to make it so her hair is not gray and I was voluntarily doing it. I also was stoked because I got it done right before VidCon so then I had it in all my pictures and it looked really good. And it was like my first VidCon that I even went to that felt like people would know who I was. <laughs> so I kept that from June to about October. And then it was Halloween where um, this was the year that I dressed up as Kim Kardashian, as one does. 
I could have just worn a full wig, but I was like, well, I want to go back to blonde anyway. Might as well. I kept it till like mid-January. And then I decided the next color was going to be pink, which not really my go-to color, but I feel like I just saw it on other people. And when it faded, it looked really good. This was also one of the first ones. My hairdresser would then give me the dye and I would mix it in with my conditioner so I could keep it vibrant rather than having to just keep re-dyeing it. I also tried to do the roots a few times by myself. My theory was like, how can I mess it up? It's only one color. You can. There are a few times where I had like really dark roots. It didn't look great. Then I would wash it like eight times to try and get it to fade out faster. That one wasn't really my favorite. I only kept it about a month and then I wanted to change it again because honestly, I feel like it's like tattoos. People say you get a tattoo and then it's like all bets are off and you want to keep getting them. I dyed my hair once and then it was like, what else can I do? I also feel like my wardrobe's pretty boring. So it was fun to switch up my hair because it was like switching up an accessory that I then ruined with bleach. I was getting anxious to change it again, but then in an attempt to salvage it and not to bleach it again, we decided to go with peach. Kind of a weird color that I never thought I would end up dyeing my hair. I feel like people either really loved it or really did not love it. I was in both camps at certain points. Um, like these are some of my favorite pictures I've ever taken, but then there's other times where this one person left a comment that it looked like day old macaroni and cheese. And I just, it hit me so hard because I was like, you're not wrong, but like I couldn't bleach it. So I had to keep it for a little longer. Anyway, eventually I just was like, fuck it, it doesn't matter, and I bleached it again. And at this point also, you might notice that it's gotten a lot shorter. I hadn't been cutting it every time I would go in to get it dyed. It was just breaking off. I wasn't that mad that it was damaged, because for me at least, I, this might be weird, but I actually like the texture of my hair when it's like <laughs> dry and dead. I feel like it's easier to style. Otherwise it just feels so limp. Now I feel like I can like give it some volume. It feels like straw, but you know. If it looks good, who cares? <laughs> Does it look good? I hope. But anyway, at the time, you would think I would then give it like a long break before I do anything again. But Coachella was coming up, which meant that it was like the year anniversary of the beginning of my style transformation. So I felt like I felt like I had to do something a little outside the box. Okay, guys, moment of truth. You have a few minutes left. If you can tweet me all three colors that you think my hair is, I will slap sound guy in the face. Wait, what? People go all out for Coachella, but most people don't usually dye their hair rainbow. Guys, it's a fucking rainbow. Get the hell out of here. Shut up, sound guy. That was where I was at in my life. That felt like a totally normal choice. Guess what, guys? It's time for Coachella. I think it's my favorite look that I ever had, but um, it's fun for Coachella. When you get home, it's a little weird to have rainbow hair. I feel like it also looked good when I did it. If I didn't do my hair, like it didn't look good in a ponytail. It didn't look good. It didn't lend itself to my everyday activities. I think I only had it for like a few days and it started fading weird. And I was like, I can't have rainbow hair anymore. Please change it. <laughs> so the next step was we did purple because then we could do it since it was pink and blue and purple, we could do it over it and not have to bleach it again. And I actually hadn't done purple yet. I really liked it. I had done like a silvery purple, but this was my first full on purple. And I actually really liked this one. And it didn't fade quite as fast as all the other ones. And when purple does fade, it fades to a more like silvery color rather than maybe something like, you know, day old macaroni and cheese. This is when things really started to go downhill. Cause at this point, I mean, like it wasn't surprising. It was really struggling. I let the purple grow out for a little bit, but then my roots were getting weird. So then it was like, do we bleach the roots? Do we give it a break? What do we do? And then the solution was to give me dark, like black roots, which are like a shadow root and then dye the rest of it blue. I guess it was fine. It was probably my least favorite of all of the choices I made, but it was the only thing that was gonna make us not have to bleach the roots again. Kept that for longer than I should have. And every time I like kept it and we would like dye the roots again, that meant that the shadowy root part was just getting longer and longer, which eventually I was gonna wanna go back to blonde. So that was going to prove difficult. Eventually I did go back to blonde. Um, it took 12 hours. It was quite the journey. And then it was so short. It was another time that I was like, oh wow, are you sure we didn't cut it? You know, it's fine. After that, I pretty much hung up my hair color hat. Not really by choice, mostly just cause it was all gonna like fall out if I was gonna do it again. After that, I did get extensions. So we did mess with the length a little bit and I had the extensions for way longer than I should have. They looked super disgusting. As I saw when Megan and I were reacting to old beauty break. What the fuck is my hair? Yeah, I was gonna, I was, before you went on this whole tension, I wanted to talk about it. It was real bad. Finally, I decided to take them out and then just chop off all the dead stuff. And this was where that left me. <laughs> I actually really liked it short. This was like a, it was a fun like lob length. But then even after that, I decided to go shorter. This is actually pretty long for how I had it. And now here I am. Ironically, I think this is my favorite of all of 
my colors and everything so far and this is like the least like thought out this was like kind of just what happened it definitely feels the healthiest that it's felt in years hands down i don't have any plans to dye it again in the future but you know maybe it's weird to look back on them because I feel like I was obsessed with all of the colors at the time, but now I look back and I definitely can rate them. That was my hair journey. Um, if I were to give any advice for people that want to dye their hair a bunch of colors, I would say plan it out so you don't have, just don't bleach it as much as I did. I don't think you have to. I just like wanted very drastically different colors one after another. So we would have to get a blank slate before we did it. That was a bad idea. Also biggest thing, I think going into getting your hair colored, the key is to not have any expectations because I think even the most talented hair people can't always predict exactly how the color is gonna react with your hair. And I feel like some people go in wanting one thing and it doesn't necessarily look the same. So you just kind of have to be a little more open-minded. I never had any expectations and was like, Fuck it. I think it was really fun. I don't regret doing any of it. Some of it may be individually, but as a whole, I think it was a crucial part in finding my personal style and stuff. Let me know what your favorite out of all of them were in the comments below. And if you think that I should go back to any of them or if I should just keep embracing my natural roots and bleach tips. I'll also say that I definitely never would have done all of these colors had I not had my job. A lot of jobs maybe don't want you to dye your hair a bunch of different colors. Mine was like, you want to dye your hair? Let's do it. Because then also some of them we did for episodes. So that was helpful for everyone. Thank you for watching. I can't believe I did all of that.